Good morning, gamers! Let's dive into the magical realm of our Sega and the masterminds at the Creative Assembly just drop a bombshell on us. And no, it's not an actually explosive device, but something equally explosive for the gaming community. They have announced Thrones of Decay, a brand new DLC for the strategic powerhouse Total War Warhammer 3. Set to grace our screens sometimes in spring 2024. But as is his tradition in the world of game development, they've left us hanging without a precise date to circle on our calendars. Classic move, keeping us on our toes. Now let's talk about what the DLC is speaking. It's like the buffet of content for the Empire, Nargle and the Dwarfs. We are talking legendary commanders, units that make your jaw drop, campaign features that you have strategizing in your sleep. And yes, even some goodies for the folks who just have the best game. This freebie is packaged as update 5.0 and is teasing a legendary commander that's still shrouded in mystery. A hero unit, something called the Nemesis Crown, sounds fancy, right? And a makeover from the campaigns of the Empire Dwarfs and Nargle. It's like Christmas came early or late, depending on when in the spring this drops. The main dish of this DLC includes a dragon riding powerhouse, Elspeth von Draken. This lady is no joke. She's perched on the brink of life and death, powered by magical forces so strong they could probably turn your breakfast cereal into gold. Not scientific proven, don't quote me on that. She brings some unique campaign features to the table, like the Imperial Tyrolli School where you can pimp your units with special upgrades and abilities, and the Gardens of Moor for that VIP fast travel service. Esper style is all about keeping her enemies at safe distance with her magic before swooping in her Carmesin Dragon to finish the job with her sight. It's a delicate balance between elegance and brute force. Her entourage includes a smorgasbord of units like a Marienburg Landship, Steam Tank Volegans, and the Iron Man of Null, among others. On the darker side, we have Tamurkan, the Maggot Lord of Nargol. This guy's living his best life in the bloated corpse of an ogre tyrant springing death and disease like it's going out of fashion. He's on a mission to corrupt the world, recruiting powerful warlords to bolster his ranks. Otherwise, Tamurkan's a tank on his toad dragon, wielding a massive axe and stealing lives with his Fist of the Maggot Lord ability. His roster includes the likes of Kites of the Befold and other delightfully disgusting units. Then there's Malaki Makaison the Slayer Engineer of the Dwarfs. Picture a brainy beefcake ostracized from the Engineering Guild now on a quest for a glorious death. He's got a flame machine, the spirit of Grungi, and a knack of inventing deadly weapons to test on the battlefield. Malaki's approach is more about raining down destruction from afar with the occasional wretch to the face for anyone who gets too close. So while we are left counting down the days until the release of Trend of Decay, one thing's of sure. The Creative Assembly team isn't just sitting on their laurels. They are crafting a world that's richer, more complex, and way more intriguing. Whether you are a strategic buff or a lore enthusiast, or just someone who likes seeing dwarfs and dragons on the same battlefield, this DLC seems poised to deliver. My takeaway? Keep an eye on this one. It's shaping up to be a change gamer, pun intended. And while we're waiting for more detail to trickle in, let's appreciate the art of these tears that game developers have perfected. It's all part of the fun, right? Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, subscribe, activate the bell, and hit the like buttons. See you soon, folks!